Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to my lecturer, Madam Nusara Nadia Muhammad Yunus. I'm Wanu Amalia Wanang Aziz. For phase one is strategic planning. We move on to company background. Since the 1960s, Dutch Lady Milk Industries has been a producer of cow's milk and milk products in Malaysia. It was formerly run by Royal Priceland Foods, a global cooperative based based in Netherlands. Since December 2008, Dutch Lady Milk is a subsidiary of Priceland Campina. They were extending their products into dairy products. However, the company became the first milk company to be listed on stock exchanges of Kuala Lumpur and Singapore on uh, 24 September 1968 and renamed to Dutch Baby Milk Industry Malaya Berhad in 1975. In 2000, they changed their name to Dutch Baby Milk Industries Berhad. Then we go to SWOT analysis. For strength, Dutch Lady is a well-known and well-established brand. They have their own dairy farm in Malaysia. They provide delicious and nutrition products. Dutch Lady has high recognition and achievement of awards. They has excellent sales staff. For weaknesses, they has low product line expansion. Very seldom advertisement in media. The products are high priced. There are no feedback section in the website. There are no price standardization and no direct market experiences. For opportunities, Dutch Lady is rising health problem among nations. There are growing popularity of online leisure. They has a network with government and they expand business to other countries. For threats, the com competition of rivalry, the increased cost of raw materials, and they face global uh, economic recession and they has an issue about forcing DNA. Now, we proceed to Dutch Lady brand vision. Their brand vision is to further improve our role and accelerate growth as the leading dairy company. Next is uh, designing brand architecture strategies. There are three categories. Firstly, defining brand potential. Their brand boundaries is not only will Dutch Lady sell shampoo, but it will come up with uh, a lot more personal care products to provide more options for people to choose dietary products. And their brand positioning is through using the aesthetic character characteristics of shampoo items that look like UHD milk. They strive to provide consumers with uh, not only good product consistency, but also curiosity and enjoyable elements. Secondly, identifying brand extension opportunities. The category extension is, Dutch Lady is renowned on the market for making dairy products. They came up with a toiletry product range to appeal to more consumers on the market when today's personal care markets are on the rise and more people, including both women and men, use shampoo. Lastly, brand new, branding new products and services. Their house of brand strategies is Dutch Lady Shampoo is a new category uh, extension of dairy products that is entirely different from what they used to serve. So my name is Nur Alice Nadira Binti Jama going to talk about the phase 2 in developing this new brand. Firstly, we have to identify the segmentation. First is geographic criteria. Under geographic criteria, they have two which is regional. Second is international. Next is demographic criteria. This product is actually suitable for all genders. Will be purchased by majority B29 just to adult with their income level from lower up to high level income. Meanwhile, it is not relevant in terms of race. So for psychographic criteria, we target lower to upper class with their lifestyle holder for hygiene and milk-based product. 
So lastly for the barrier criteria, we target regular users and first time buyers with a heavy product users. So moving on to targeting, for the new Dash Lady body care line, Dash Lady does not have any particular target. This product can be used by children, men and women with all age. As a body care line, consumer will be mostly women where they tend to be picky in deciding which product is, is good for their hair to, to avoid damage. Men on the other hand does not really picky in buying shampoo. For competitive frame, we have two which is point of reference and point of parity. Point of reference, the base of this shampoo is milk which resembles the main product line of Dutch Lady which is milk drink. Second is point of parity, it is a high quality, dermatologist tested and same shampoo type as, an, as international shampoo brands. In developing a strong brand, we have brand positioning. Firstly, is brand identity and values. For brand alliance, we have four. First is logo. This shampoo uses a logo of its parent brands, which is Dutch Lady, that represents a primary role in the company's marketing and sales. Next is color. This new product uses the same clear clean blue color palettes because it represents authority, loyalty, power, professionalism, and trust. The blue colors show that the brand is professional and logical but not invasive. For packaging, a quality product is expressed through clear, clean, digestible designs that are well executed. This shampoo applies a matte finish to its packaging because it provides outstanding visual appeal. It is less reflective than glossy finished packaging. The customer will see the product logo and description more clearly in brightly lit store. So what is the usage of this product? It is to remove dirt from hair and to treat hair rough, frizzy and unmanageable. It is also designed to clean the scalp and remove excess oil. My name is Nur Ashiki Binti Sharman. So what is the primary ingredients and supplementary features for this shampoo? The specialty of this shampoo is free from harsh synthetic detergents which is SLS that can dry out the hair. The company provides a 120 days warranty for this product because it is beneficial for both customers and company as it sets expectations. The design of the bottle is very unique because it is using a box shape for the bottle and the design is similar with the other Dutch ladies product and the price is very affordable which is 18 ringgit for a bottle. Next, a brand imagery. The user profile of Dutch Lady shampoo is suitable for all gender, race and age. The type of person who use this brand are a social re related oriented person and a loyal person. The type of channels that customers can buy this product are at department stores, specialty stores or internet. This shampoo can be used three times a week to get a good result. The personality of this brand is sincerity that reflects a down-to-earth, honest, friendly, wholesome and cheerful product. Next is brand response. I will explain first about the brand judgment. So the quality of the product. Customers acknowledge the quality of the product by the touch and the look of the packaging. Next is the credibility. The brand seen as the brand expertise because it is competent, innovative and a market leader. Next is the consideration. Most customers prefer buying products from a brand they are familiar with because they seek a certain amount of trust while making the purchases and the last one is the superiority the difference and uniqueness of this product compared to others can be seen on its value this shampoo will show a fastest result in re repairing hair damage customers emotional response and reactions for this product is fun and warm next is the brand relationship the first brand resonance is behavioral loyalty. The customers will consider themselves loyal to this brand and they will repeat purchase the product. And the second one is attitudinal attachment. The customers really love this brand because this brand is special to them. Hence, they will pay attention about the product. 
and the third one is sense of community. They feel a deep connection with others who use this brand or this shampoo. And the fourth one is active engagement. The customers are willing to invest their time, energy, and money for this brand. The naming new product using the brand element strategy and utilizing secondary brand associations. The first one is memorability. That Lady shampoo name is easy to remember because it is a famous milk drink that people will buy at the store. This shampoo's logo is easy to recall by the customers because it has a unique blue circle around its brand name. The blue color of the logo is very attractive. Next, it's meaningful. For the packaging, this shampoo is very descriptive because it has a straightforward information that will persuade customer to buy the product. Next is the light label. The packaging is very colorful and rich in visual and image. The name of Dutch Lady is very general and doesn't reflect any specific meaning for the brand. Hence, Dutch Lady can produce new product category extension easily due to high transfer ability value uh, this brand also can penetrate to international market and the last one is adaptable even though the brand introducing the new changes of product category extension the customers can adapt with the new product my name is no shaira sasha binti mas Ahmad. so today i will present for history which is integrating brand marketing strategies our new product is shampoo and this is are the three type of shampoo that we will produce for the features of the product, this product will be produced with three different fragrances, which is honey and olive oil, almond and rose. And the bottle of the shampoo will in a pop shape, a bit similar to milk product from the Lady, but actually it is shampoo. And it is made from plastic because the bottle of the shampoo should be in water resistant. There are three different colors which is yellow, green, and pink. Yellow is for honey and olive oil, pink for rose, and green is for lemon. At the bottom of the shampoo will be labeled with halal logo, date of manufacture, the name of the brand, types of fragrance, ingredient, benefits, and made from Korea because this product will be made from Korea. And for the quality, we use high quality ingredients which is uh, natural ingredients like honey, rose and lemon and all the ingredients are already studied by expert for hair product. So for the after marketing, we use two types of after marketing which is loyal pro loyalty program and warranty. For your loyalty program, the Dutch lady offer the customer to be a member club and they can get a discount from the member club card by purchasing any product from Dutch Lady. So for the warranty, the customer can change the shampoo with other product in, a, in the same brand within 120 days if the product is not suitable for them. So I will explain for pricing strategy. There are two types of pricing strategy which is skimming pricing and penetration pricing. Skimming pricing is setting a high price to get a maximum profit in a short term. For penetration pricing is setting a low price for the product to penetrate the market quickly and deeply. So for this new product, the company decided to use penetration pricing. But the company should uh, sacrifice their profitability because they are setting low price for the new product and they will not get a high profit from this product. So uh, by using penetration uh, pricing, there are a lot of customers will buy their product. For this new product, we, decide, we decided to put the price is around 80 ringgit for 400 milliliter. Usually, the shampoo that use natural ingredient and high quality ingredient and provide 400 milliliter, uh, the price will be around 22 ringgit. But for this new product, we decided to set the price for 80 ringgit. The channel decision, we decided to use indirect decision which is uh, sell the new product through the third party intermediaries like agent, retail, agent, retailer and wholesaler. So under indirect decision, there are two types of strategy which is pull strategy and push strategy. Pull strategy is the company itself advertise the new product to the customer but do not 
force them to carry their product. For this new product, we decided to use pool strategy which is the company itself. Dash Lady will advertise the new product to the customer but do not force them to buy it. By using the power of uh, buyers, the customer will request the product from the retailer and if the retailer do not have the product, they will, uh, they will request it from the wholesaler and wholesaler will request the product from the manufacturer. I am Sabrina Natasha and I'm going to present about integrated marketing communication. There are two marketing tools that have been used in Dutch Lady. The first one is advertising. Dutch Lady Shampoo will use TV and website ads to market the product. The launch ceremony will be held on the day of unveiling of their latest category extension product. Customer will be informed by the ads and a lot of enjoyable activity will be included during the product launch. Second marketing tools that have been used is sales promotion. The company will be offering sampling and free trials to let them have a chance to experience Dutch Lady Shampoo in a small quantity in a short time without purchasing the shampoo. Dutch Lady will be providing sampling in strategy and ideal location such as hypermarket to give a customer an opportunity to test the product. It will enable people to try to understand the benefits of the product. Everything is at our fingertip now. It's time for a company to move to digital branding strategy. There are three tools that have been used in Dutch Lady. The first one is social media. Social media will enable Dutch Lady Shampoo to expand. Customer will also post their reviews and feedback on social network and become the brand's communicator. The word of mouth on social media would help the brand to make itself known. Second tool is using e-commerce. Dutch Lady also use e-commerce to promote their product. It also known as illiterate commerce or internet commerce refers to the purchasing and sale of products or services using the internet and the transfer of money and data to carry out this transaction such as Shopee, Lazada, Gradmart, Foodpanda and more. The last tool that been used is pay-per-click advertising. Through PPC, Dutch lady deliver keywords that they want for the advertising to turn out for. This uh, company uh, stimulates when our keyword is used in user search. This advertisement would then appear at the top of the search results above the listing. For a conclusion, the Study Shampoo is a very unique category extension. It is because the Study Shampoo is very different from what the Study used to serve in the market. With this brand new product, it will help it will help Dash Daddy to reach even more customer. It is because there were a lot of people who love to consume it and also use shampoo in their daily routine. Dash Daddy shampoo also will definitely catch people attention and interest. It is because Dash Daddy shampoo is high in quality. In addition, the marketing procedure was planned carefully in order to serve the customer the best experience.